Hi, I'm Hannah Burke, and I will be presenting Case 3 for Week 4, Torts and Negligence. Former Motorola worker gets four years for trade secrets theft. What are the facts of the case? Han Juan Jin is a Chinese-born, naturalized U.S. citizen who worked for Motorola for nine years. Jin was arrested at the O'Hare International Airport in Chicago, where she was prepared to board a one-way flight to China. With her arrest, Jin was found to have over a thousand confidential Motorola documents in her possession. According to the Chicago Tribune, Jin also had classified Chinese military documents. At the beginning of the case, many speculated that she was working with China in order to prosper from the stolen American trade secrets. Jin was convicted and sentenced to serve four years in prison. This imprisonment is considered one of the harshest consequences of committing a theft of trade secrets tort. In addition to her imprisonment, Jin was also fined $20,000 and had to be electronically monitored before her prison sentence began in October. What crime or crimes did the court say were committed by the Motorola employee? Jin committed the tort of theft of trade secrets. Quoted from the article provided, Prosecutors alleged she was part of a much broader Chinese-run industrial spying effort that posed a threat to the country's economic prosperity. U.S. District Judge Ruben Castillo said Jin had conducted a purposeful raid to steal technology. Though the severity of her crime was rather high with respect to torts, she was acquitted of economic espionage, for there was not enough evidence to prove she was working to help the Chinese government benefit from her theft. What possible tort claims could the employer bring against the employee? The primary tort claims that Motorola, the employer, can bring against Jin, the employee, is theft of trade secrets and conversion. Jin intentionally stole intellectual property. Motorola's IDEN system, most famously known as the push-to-talk feature on walkie-talkies, Intellectual property can also be considered personal property. There was speculation that she was to give this information to the Chinese telecommunication company, Sunkaizen, who is the supplier to the Chinese military. She is punished by serving four years in prison. At first, she was faced with serving a 30-year prison term, but with her confession and unstable health condition, her sentence was shortened. What possible tort claims could the employer bring against the company that was buying the data from the Motorola employee? Jin was stopped before any of the valuable Motorola information could even reach the Beijing-bound airplane. Had China received the stolen information, Motorola could have brought theft of trade secrets and conversion against Sun Kaisen. Why do you think companies are reluctant to tell the public that they have been robbed of digital property? Quoting U.S. District Court Judge Ruben Castillo from the Chicago Tribune, he states, In today's world, the most valuable thing that anyone has is technology. Additionally, Castillo also states, The important thing this country can do is protect its trade secrets. Companies are reluctant to tell the public that they have been robbed of digital property because it will make the American people fear for personal and national financial security. Many companies have equity intertwined with these trade secrets. Thus, economic espionage can be really threatening to American economic prosperity. Finally, Gary S. Shapiro, the acting U.S. Attorney attorney for the Northern District of Illinois, stated that U.S. officials will do everything we can to guard our economic and national security from the theft of American trade.